Boar's Head is bringing a slice of Japan to the deli. Introducing Boar's Head Ichiban Teriyaki Style Chicken. Tender, slow roasted chicken breast, coated in our signature teriyaki glaze, where ginger, garlic, and a hint of brown sugar meet for a flavor that's both sweet and savory. New Boar's Head Ichiban Teriyaki Style Chicken. The bold flavor of Japan, now at the deli. Only from Boar's Head. Compromise elsewhere. Blog Talk Radio. Ah, baby. When you hug me, I kind of get aroused just thinking about your lips touching mine. As you work your way down to my breast, licking, sucking, and kissing, and I patiently anticipate you entering my chamber as my lips blossom with the juice of sweet nectar and my belly burst phrase of desire. My spine tingles with each thrust you take inside me. When the pressure and heat builds in my vaginal walls, I become like a volcano ready to erupt at the height of my orgasm. Oh! No one, my dear, has ever come close to this love you inspire. You fill my soul with so much joy. For you, my dear, are my heart's desire. Oh. Oh. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Erotic Table Sensual Touch. I am Melanie. Hello, I am Jackie. And good evening. I'm Colin. And welcome to Erotic Table Sensual Touch Radio. Radio. We just want to welcome everyone back for this next week or this week from last week. Uh, we hope everyone had a, a wonderful week and a wonderful day since last we met. Uh, tonight, we want to come to you um, with part two of what we touched on last week, yin and yang. That's right, yin and yang. And so we also want to get into Tantra, revolution also. So we're going to see how that all relates and ties into each other. We want you all to call in, voice your opinions, text us, Facebook message and post us, whatever you like, whatever's convenient. We want to hear from you, feedback, questions, comments. Ladies? Yeah, I'm excited about today's show. I don't know about you all, but I am super, super excited. Um, we Thus far, we've been getting a lot of great feedback, so I, I just mm-hmm. want to get into, get into the show. Jackie, what you got to say? I am so excited. Uh, I'm always excited when it's time to do the show because we learn things about each other and uh, hopefully our audience is learning things and we're interested in hearing their feedback as well. So we're going to just take a brief break and come back and get started with the show. Great. Erotic taboo, sensual touch. Oh, 
Welcome back, everyone. This is Zaki, and you're listening to Erotic Taboo Central Touch. And I'm just going to ask a question to my my other hosts, Melanie and Colin. Uh, what did you all think of the last podcast? Melanie? I knew he was going to defer to me. <laughs> ladies first, ladies first. I knew he was going to defer to me. I mean, I could go if you like. I mean, done. Yeah, can you can you go, please? Sure. Oh, okay, okay. As you well, obviously, we like to have fun, but yeah, absolutely. Tyler. That's that's the part of that's the part of life we must. But uh, <laughs> last week, you know, that just the introduction to Yin and Yang, I felt that that was like it, it was pretty deep. Actually, the information was deep. It was um, very informative, um, and I and I, I tried to do some research in my in a busy work week. I tried to you know reach out when I could to grab some more information in reference to yin and yang. Um, the explanation of it it was such that um, I, I feel like that it, it's something that I want to try to delve deeper into on my own time, um, especially with the contra um, and, and and learning. <clears throat> the, the, the couple of techniques that Jackie had mentioned and spoke on, you know, I spoke, you know, I talked to my wife about it because she listened to the show as well, and she felt as though that that was something that would be interesting to us um, in trying. So, um, but the information itself, as far as the yin and yang goes, uh, it, it was so deep that, um, you know, Jackie almost turned into a preacher. I almost had to give her all of her <laughs> but I, like I said, I appreciated the information. It was it was deep though. I mean, it was so much that um that I'll have to some things when I study, I have to revisit it, re-listen to it, or reread it to really get the grasp of the the whole thing. So that's what I was in the process of doing, just re revisiting um, the show as a whole, just so I can really get that information down. But it, it's great information, and I, I definitely uh, suggest those of you who are listening and who heard it last week to, to try to, uh, um, you know, try to start practicing some of what you what you heard and what you discussed and share it with us, Melanie. Yeah, um, I, I do think the, the concept, as Colin said, you know, it, it, it's deep. And, um, you know, to, to be honest, it's one of those conversations that, hmm, number one, you got to be comfortable with. And number two, you really have to know it. And I think um, Colin and I can both agree that we're kind of like green in, in this area. And so we kind of look to Jackie to kind of like break it down because it's complex. I don't think it's um, something that's really simple. I think it's kind of, of complex. Right. Right. Yeah, I have to agree. Uh, and believe me, it took a long time for me to not like this is just some um, overnight thing. Uh, I've been mm-hmm. studying you know, the Tantra and the yin and yang, I would say for probably uh, 12 years. So wow. it, it definitely, it, yeah. Um, and I'm kind of like I can't even imagine um, it not being part of my life. I'll say mm-hmm. that. So uh, I'm one who I, I kind of have a explosive um, attitude at times but actually through the practice of Tantra, it actually helps me stay focused in a sense, um, just with the meditation side of it. So, okay. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's like, you know how you hear people say there's levels to this. I mean, and that's like the mm-hmm. understatement. So um, with that being said, go ahead, Melanie, I'm sorry. No, I, you know, I was just going to add to that, you know, the, the complexity, because when you when you think about um, the yin and yang and you understand that it's just, you know, it's a complete thing, it's a, a wholeness, but, you know, as it relates to relationships, I think, when, when I think of it in terms of relationships, 
I don't particularly, um, I, sometimes it, it's hard to see like the, the wholeness. And I think because um, relationships are so complex and sometimes, you know, you and your partner might be uh, 60, at 60% and you might stay there for two years and then you might be at 70% percent and you might go to down to 40 so when yin and yang when you're talking about that wholeness and how it relates to a relationship and how it's supposed to relate to relationship and other things too but it to me it's kind of like uh i can't see that sometimes you know right Right. and that's true you know and i think that we're all guilty of that just because i know some things it doesn't always mean that i make time for those things And so when right. I feel like I'm off balance Like uh, I have to reel my own self back in Because then if I don't Then my relationship suffers So right. it, it, I think it's, it goes back to us Making and taking time Right So right. Right. Uh, To make that wholeness To make that wholeness Because yeah. I mean you've seen You know people that have been in relationships for a long time, it gets stale. It gets stale because a lot of times lack of effort. Yeah. Right. I agree. Right. One, one, uh, 50% won't cut it. And, and both parties need to be, you know, equally interested and equal, uh-huh. equal participants in it for it to work. And I think that that's where kind of what you were touching on, where the, uh, unfortunately, there could come, an issue or some type of barrier and really, I mean, Jackie got 12 years in and studying it versus, you know, the, us laymen trying to, right. you know, just right. getting you know, used to it, it or introduced right. to it and trying to figure it right. out. So, you know, I think that, you know, that should be for your spouse, you, wanting, you and your spouse should be willing to, you know, try something new again to bring that spark back if, in fact, it did die, die down some. Uh, I think that... Uh, it, it, it's, it can, and, and like you said, it could translate into other areas in your life in addition to just that one uh, area of the physical. It, can, it could, could go into the, the health side or health, uh, the health areas and other areas in addition to that as well. So we will get into that absolutely. some more. Yeah, absolutely. We will get more into that when we come back from break. Again, you're listening to Erotic Taboo, Central Touch, and we will be back. After this brief break, erotic taboo, sensual touch. Erotic taboo, sensual touch. And welcome back to Erotic Taboo, Sensual Touch. I am your hostess, Melanie, along with Jackie and Colin. So the, the second phase, we're, we're going to get into the spiritual side of yin and yang. So, uh, Jackie, you want to lead the way with this? <laughs> sure, I'd be happy to. So as you know, during the last podcast, we talked about yin and yang, and we just briefly touched on it. it. It's so much bigger than that. Uh, we even, you know, I know that a lot of you are probably interested in hearing about full body orgasm, uh, but tonight what we want to focus on is actually preparing your mind for that, as Melody and I like to say, that cataclysmic. <laughs> Orgasm. Ooh, say it but, again. Say it again. Say it with your chest. Say it with your chest. Yes, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Cataclysmic orgasm. Uh, <laughs> in order to get to that level, your mind has to be right because this isn't just 
about that physical connection. This is that conscious level of love making. Um, to get to that point, it's kind of like, you know, the energy you have to be able to, it's like ecstatic energy vibrating in your whole body, but before you get there, there are levels. Uh, the first being you actually have to be in tune to yourself. Um, and it's not even so much about masturbating. It's, so, it's more so into being able to accept you and allowing yourself to open up to receive that next level of consciousness uh, in love making, if that makes sense. Um, does that make sense, Melanie and Colin? It does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. 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 Go ahead. Yeah, I think when I say full body or cataclysmic orgasm, I honestly think everybody's looking for that gratification. People, it is so much deeper than that. Uh, so I know right. that's why everybody's like, I just want her to get to the step. How can I get to that level? It is not an easy task, believe me. Um, so when I'm talking yin and yang, as we discussed on uh, last week's podcast, if you look at that symbol and see how intertwined the symbol is, and, and basically that's how we are as man and woman. We are uh, intertwined with each other, which represents that yin and yang. And for us women, we're the yin. We're calm, we're receptive, um, and we're just, we're often, I would say, probably a bit more balanced at times. Uh, For the men in that yang state, they're uh, energetic, they're hot, they're hard. And calm down, Kyle. I don't want you to get excited, you know. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> they're, they're, they're strong, and that's why men are always ready. For us, it's not always that simple. But right, men are a, always ready to give. Show. And ready to give, exactly. But at the same time, men are often more vulnerable. Did you all realize that? Uh, I, I I think I can agree with that. I think I can agree. I'm with listening. That. I'm listening. But when, but when you say when you say vulnerable, men are vulnerable in, in what capacity or or in what area or what way of ty- what type of vulnerability okay. are you speaking? When I say vulnerability, let's talk about the anatomy of the body. Okay. So men. You know, in Tantra, the penis is referred to as the lingam. So it is always exposed. So when I say vulnerable, that's what I mean. You know, your lingam is always exposed. It's Mm -hmm. always sort of on the search for that physical connection. With women, uh the vagina is referred to in Tantra as the yoni. But our yoni is always covered. It's inside. It's You understand what I'm saying? It's like mm-hmm. we're not mm-hmm. sticking out is what I'm saying. So when I say vulnerable, yeah. not so much emotion. It's just when you look at the anatomy of the male and female body. Okay. And I bet you a lot of people probably never really thought about that. I'm sure, you know, yeah. I think I I would agree with that. Yeah, so, and with that vulnerability, I think sometimes as women, we may not, we don't understand it. Um, What I mean by that is, let's say for us, for example, you know, we have that orgasm, and we're still ready for orgasm number two and orgasm number three. For men, oftentimes it takes a minute to get back to that level where they can pleasure us again. Um, And a lot of it is because of what you haven't learned, I'll say that. And it's not to take any away from the man because, believe me, you know, 
guys, you give us earth, earth-shattering orgasms. But when it takes time to get to the next phase and we're still ready, you know, after that first one, it begins to become frustrating for us. But there are things that you can do, and without the use of a pill, to actually stay in that present state to where once you ejaculate, you're not exhausted. Um, I'm going to open the floor up to my co-host and get your feedback on that. Um, as, as I stated um, before, um, having that full body orgasm is something I'm definitely interested in um, because I, and it's a mind shift thing, we, we know that, but I just can't see it. And I know, Jackie, you have said time and time again, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. I know that. But... um. That's what I want to learn today. That's what I want to talk about today. <laughs> that's where that's, my mind, my mind has great. shifted. <laughs> yeah, and I, I think shifted. that's what a lot of people, like, I wish she just gets to the point, you know, we're not interested in all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, yeah, that's the subject. How about this, then? Let me ask, let me ask those, <clears throat> those, that are, those that are listening in, we, mm, we welcome you, right. and for those that will listen, and have a question later, I have a question now. Is this mm. practice of Tantra, is it something that can be uh, done solo, or do you need a partner to do it? Oh, great question. And I'm so glad that you asked that. What I would suggest is that you practice alone first. That's what I would suggest. Uh, that, to me, was the easiest way for me to take us to the next level. Um, And I think, too, it probably went back to me being such a control person sometimes. Um, I wanted to know what I was doing before I actually introduced this to my husband. Let me just say Mm -hmm. that. Um, Right. The steps that I I am going to, you know, leave you all with the steps tonight before the show ends, but I would definitely recommend trying by yourself first because some of these steps are kind of complicated and you might even get frustrated. I know I did probably the first 10,000 was just like, look, I just want the instant gratification. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think, I think me, I think, I think that um, given the fact that you have to relax to a point of a deep conscious relaxation, Mm. You know, almost like to a, a meditation type stage or state of being meditating. I, you know, I think because I don't do, I don't meditate. So I think, you know, I think I might fall asleep a couple of times in trying to attempt it the first couple of times. Really? Yeah. Like yeah because, I mean, I think, because of that level of relaxation, that's why he's saying that. Huh. Right? Is that what you're referring to? Is that deep level because think about this, the, um, mm-hmm. and we're going to share this on our page. The, what Tantra teaches you is, you know, patience. You're developing a deep connection with your mate. And even if you don't have a mate, you still you can still do this and develop a connection with yourself because the end result is you still have to open your mind up. You know, that's the main thing. And with women, we experience, you know, um, an orgasm probably more quickly and we become more relaxed and sensitized. Uh, But it also empowers men to last longer. And I know there are a lot of fellas out there that, like, who wouldn't be willing to try this for the opportunity to last longer and give your mate um, a more, let's see, how can I put this? Uh, well, I'm going to go back to that word, a more cataclysmic sexual experience. Um, also, but it's not something that you would just share with everyone. I'm going to say that because mm-hmm. not everybody, especially if you're single, you're not going to have that deep spiritual connection with everybody right. that you come in touch with. That is just right. something that you would see 
for that special person. Right. That uh, makes sense. So, I, I, right. I want to um, share something. Oh, go ahead, Melanie. No, that was Jackie. Oh, I'm sorry. I want, I want to share something that um, I, I want to share something that I, I came across when I was doing some uh, about my my own uh, searching and research on the yin and yang, and coupled with some tantra information, uh, I found a, a question that I was asked actually was if tantra and yoga was if there was a difference between the two, and what I found it was yoga. that. It is yoga, but they they have the same goal per se, mm-hmm. but the path it's the path towards. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's like the paths toward this goal are are, are different or opposite. Meaning the tantra is like I liken it to like a path of consciously going through the world or going through this experience that we're speaking of, whereas yoga is a way of like consciously pulling away from. Going towards, right. pulling away from, is what I right. You know, and the found thing in, is, in yeah. And tantra is a form of yoga, but it is. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say it's more of a mental. It's a mental state of mind. Um, yoga tantra. is, you know, huh? You said tantra is a is a physical state. I would say more so the yoga. Well, both really, but I think that Tantra is more of a spiritual. It's just like he described, mm-hmm. actually. You're like, okay. you're moving energy around through your body. Mm-hmm. You're opening yourself up to receive that mental or to give, you know, that connection with another person. You're, let's say, we talked about music, I think, last week with regards to Tantra, and you're listening to music that level right. of meditating, so which is also going back to the orgasm, which allows you to have that cataclysmic orgasm because you have reached a level of consciousness where you've learned how to control that orgasm and drive that sexual energy throughout your body. Mm. Imagine Man, that. Boy, Imagine feeling you, that orgasm from your head on down to your feet. Imagine when you're at your highest height of sexual energy and being able to take those slow, deep breaths and moving them throughout your body. Just imagine that. Okay, so you're going to have to explain this to you, Jackie. you going to have to explain this. I am. Because I'm imagining that. Yes. (laughs) Go ahead. We've got to take a break. Because I... Okay, let's take a break. All right, yeah, yes, yes. All right, let's go to break. Erotic taboo, sensual touch. Erotic taboo, sensual touch. Welcome back to Ironic Taboo Central Touch. Now, before we want to break, the conversation kind of got a little heated, so <laughs> I'm gonna gonna let Melanie <laughs> get a mind right so she can ask a question. <laughs> yeah, because this is what I was doing. I was, as you were speaking, I was imagining, and I'm like, okay. You know, okay, I can speak from a woman's perspective. Kyle, and you might want to cover your ears. Jackie, you too now. All right. So, you know, when you when you, <laughs> when you are you in a groove, right, and mm-hmm. you know your partner's body, okay, 
So you know when he is about to climax. You know, they, they get tense and toes curl and all that stuff. Body flexing and all that Body stuff. flex. Yeah. Okay, so how are we supposed to de-escalate that? And I think, uh, yeah, it, yeah, a lot of time, a lot of power shifting and, and brain shifting. And the reason why I brought that up is I think um, – Sheena Zachary, one of the the followers, I believe, no, it wasn't her. It was someone else. I'm sorry, but one of the followers said that, you know, you, like, you have to be like in tune with that person and know when they're about to have um, an orgasm to just completely stop. And I'm looking at it like, okay, if you completely stop, that might cause a fight or something. I don't know. So Jackie, you are you know, you know. <laughs> you're not actually stopping. It's like you are you know, like I told y'all I think two shows ago, it's all about the breathing for one. Mm. And so if you practice that, I mean, believe me, it's it's gonna be hard. It is not easy, but it's worth it when you get to that point. Um mm. but you definitely have to be in that moment. You have to have that connection with that person, the slow and deep breathing. And it is hard sometimes to maintain that. I will be the first to tell you that because it's like, oh, wait, I'm right here right now. But Right um, there, yeah. Yeah, but it is a practice, you know, it is a practice behavior in a sense. You can do it. Right. You have to program yourself. Okay. I got a question for the I got a question for the people, the listening <laughs> audience, the the followers, the, the <laughs> listen. Are you, are you, and I want to see some answers to this on our in our posts. Are you willing to start or attempt to put in the work, the dedication that it takes, slash commitment to tantra with your special or your significant other? Are you willing to do it? Are you willing to make that sacrifice of time and energy for your loved one, that special one? I want to yeah, see and, the answers and to I that. Put that on our, I'm, I'm putting that on our, our page, and I think we, we said it a hundred times. It's going to take practice. It takes that, that mind shift, it, and it takes that, you know, that intimacy level to be at its peak, too. And I also think that it's going to take, um, you know, it can't, you can't be in the the mindset of me. It's all about me, me, me. I got to get mine. And I right. think one of our uh, followers said that too, like you, you have to be in the mindset of us. And that's, that's practice. Cause I think in our society, we have been taught that I got to get mine. So you better get yours. So it's right, retraining that, song, that thought process. Yeah, that was, mine, so that was a song. <laughs> yeah, that was a song. Yeah. Hey. Oh, Big Nate. I think he actually Big said Nate. that, you know. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. I thought that, that was a valid point. Big Nate. <laughs> yeah. Big Nate. Yeah. Thanks, uh, Big Nate. Because that was that, that was a good point. point. Yeah. Right. And we are we do live in a day and time where I'm I'm just trying to get mine. But don't you want more? Yes. Lord, yes. That's a good question. Don't you want more? <laughs> I would think so. I mean, because after that moment is over, it, it, you're done, you know. And it's like while you may have enjoyed it, you know, it's just you still leave with that feeling of isn't there more to this? I know I always thought that. Right. But I think it's yeah. how... We're taught. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Amen. That's right. And okay. I'm trying not to preach, Kyla, you know, because no, no. you called on me the last time. <laughs> no, it was all good. It was all good. We appreciate it. We definitely yeah, do that. So we appreciate it. it. It's just, you know, it, it's all about what you want. Well, it, it's contra for everybody. Absolutely. It's not. Um, because it all goes back to that mind frame. If you're willing to put in the work, as Colin said, and um, practice it, because practice makes perfect. And when I tell you, 
you can actually experience body waves from head to toe. It is worth the effort. Now, it took me a long time, so I don't want anybody out there to think that this is easy. Okay. But, again, you have to allow yourself to be open-minded to experience it. Mm-hmm. Don't give up. If this is what you want, go for it. Put in that work. Just like Colin and Melanie said, you have to want this. And the person that you're experiencing this with, you have to have that connection with them. You just have to shed your skin. Now, that that brings me to a point, Jackie, and I think you 100% spot on. And one of the things that Sheena Zachary did say, and we conversed about this on uh, Facebook, is that you have to have that that level of intimacy. And like I think one of you guys said it earlier, you if you're single, uh, this probably ain't going to work for you. I don't I don't know, but you have to be committed to somebody, and being committed comes along with a whole lot of other different things. But it has to be that commitment of intimacy too. Absolutely, and. To piggyback on that, this is something you can, it's better with a partner. I'm going to say that. But okay. for me, I, I did it on my own. Uh, I was just so determined that I wanted to know what this felt like. And I wanted to be able to share it and know what the hell I was talking about. Right. You know, so... <laughs> It's like if you've not done it, how can I? If I haven't done it, how can I teach you how to do it? I can, you know, I can say what I think it feels like, but I've been there, so I know what it feels like. I know Mm -hmm. that at the end of it all, I am feeling like I am on a different level. Now, is that something that? Huh? Yeah. You said you've been to the mountaintop. I've seen them. I've been to the mountaintop. <laughs> is that something yeah. that we practice all the time? No, it's not because it's time consuming. That is like one of those moments where we actually have the time to say, listen, let's put aside our day to day stress. Let's come together. Mm. Let's meditate. Let's hold one another. Sometimes there's no talking, you know, between us because. We're just embracing the moment. Mm-hmm. And and that's what, I, I think that's what we're missing, um, even taking it back to intimacy. We are not even looking at each other like that. We're not even touching each other like that. And I think that that's sad. We're like a society, as Colin and Melanie said in the previous show, because this is the age of technology, we're not touching up on one another. Yeah. We are not even holding hands, looking at each other. So we're no. missing that. We're missing that extra boost in our relationship because this is supposed to be, when we come together, this is supposed to be an empowering moment. We're supposed mm-hmm. to release everything that has happened to us during the course of the day when we come together in that moment. So, awesome information uh, again. Awesome, awesome information again. Uh, uh, mm. And when we come back from break, Colin, I'm sorry, I'm going to let you speak, and then we're going to go to break, and then I'm going to come back with these steps to achieve that cataclysmic orgasm. I got my pen and pad ready. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Oh. Cataclysmic I'm ready. orgasm. Well, before we do go to break, oosh. before we go to break, I just want to <laughs> put something out there to our <laughs> listeners real quick and those that are uh, on the page. Uh, we definitely invite you all to listen in to Blog Talk Radio every on Thursday, 9 p.m. Uh, the call-in number is 713-955-0398. That's 713-955-0398. Feel free Call in, questions, comments, all are welcome. You can reach us on Facebook, Erotic Taboo, Sensual Touch, Relationship Group, okay? You can reach us on YouTube. View us on YouTube when we go out on site and film. 
Majesty Productions, Erotic, Taboo, Sensual Touch. All right, so we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back to you all with some final information, fun facts, and things like that. Erotic, Taboo, Sensual Touch. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Erotic Taboo Sensual Touch. I am your hostess, Melanie, along with Jackie and Colin. And hey. um, again, this this conversation is hot, you know, as as usual. You know, I'm not surprised, and I always learn something, and I'm always, you know, grateful about that. And some of the things that we have talked about thus far, I have applied to uh, my relationship. So. You know, it, it, we're not just talking the talk. We're actually walking the walk and um, practicing, you know, as well. But, guys, I have – I was looking today, uh, you know, about the, the subject matter, and I like numbers. You you all know I like to drive y'all crazy with my numbers still. But I couldn't find any numbers on intimacy-related stuff. But what I did find – was um and this is a, a a fun fact or a fun statement and I got this from Relationships uh, Australia which is a um a website and basically it said deeper intimacy is a journey of discovery now when I read that I said well damn you know that is that is so true I mean just that one little statement and it's really deep on a lot of different levels but then um. It goes on to say, uh, finding his or her deeper intimacy uh, should happen over time, but when couples go through their highs and lows, and we talked about this earlier, intimacy is affected. And that goes back to getting to know oneself, getting to know your partner, taking the time, as we all, you know, we, we covered that. And one thing that I did take away from reading this website is that, we have to learn how to reconnect, re-engage, and create opportunity. And, Jackie, you said that. We talked about that before we went to break, creating the opportunity, putting the phones down, putting the computers down, sending the kids off to Timbuktu, wherever, you know, creating that opportunity. And we miss it. We miss it. We miss it. We miss it. And now our love lives are missing it. Because <laughs> we don't have the intimacy, we don't have the connections, and you know we're just like in the state of frantic, if you will. Especially when you talk about couples who are married or couples who have been together, you know, for a long time. So it's how to rekindle everything, and tantra is one of the ways to do that. Right, absolutely. Right. Um, that was you know great information. I always appreciate your you know your fun facts. So I'm going to dive right into this, folks, because I know you're waiting. Uh, So I'm going to give you uh, six basic steps. Uh, They probably sound harder or seem harder than what you might think. Okay, so first step, you should stand with your feet, hips width apart, and knees slightly bent. Second, Keep your breath slow and deep is what I always say all the time. Draw the air down from your belly, and once you're comfortable with that, try drawing the air all the way down from your genitals. Um, This will actually awaken your sexual energy. Okay. Don't be afraid. Let me say that again. Do not be afraid to hear your breath. Breathe with your mouth open, making a relaxed, Ah, sound when exhaling. Try to hear your inhale as well if you can. 
start moving your pelvis as you inhale, rock the hips back, arching the small of the back. On the exhale, tuck the tailbone under and flatten the small of your back. Add the PC squeeze for my men. Squeeze your pelvic floor muscles on the inhale and relax them back down on the exhale, like in the Kegel exercise, if you're familiar with that. Visualize yes, the I energy am. moving from your genitals along your spine up to your head on the inhale and then back down on the exhale from your head down your throat and along your chest and tummy back into your genitals. Feel your genitals relaxing and opening, generating more and more sexual energy. I think we're all. Hey. Uh-uh. Oh, we're not? Okay. Okay, good, because I was trying to get everything in. Um, so I just want to piggyback on that visualizing, moving the sexual energy from your genitals. Uh, that is very important, um, and it goes back to them slow and deep breaths. I mean, mm. I would definitely say don't be afraid to, you know, breathe in and, ah. Uh, if you practice mm-hmm. that, there's absolutely no reason why you cannot achieve that full body cataclysmic event. Uh, but it takes time. You have to invest time. You're investing time into yourself and into your relationship. You owe it to each other to practice this. You know, but first it starts with opening your mind. You have to open your mind to be able to receive all of it. And what I can tell you about it, it is a bomb. Let me just say that. <laughs> uh, all right. And boom, got my notes. Now, should we notes? incorporate, do we need a, a breath mint before we get started? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have reached that <laughs> level of consciousness, you're not even smelling breath, Okay. <laughs> okay. I was just testing. You're I was just testing your level of consciousness. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm gonna cut it. Don't worry. Yeah. That's the last thing that you are focusing on, and and you know, folks, just to, I want to give you all something to think about while you all are thinking of these uh, full body orgasms. I'm gonna leave you with some some music and. Uh, then I'll have Melanie and Colin come back with their final thoughts. I'm just going to leave you with some hot music while you are thinking about that full body orgasm. And we'll be back mm. after these messages. All right. Ah, oh, baby. When you hug me, I kind of get aroused just thinking about your lips touching mine. As you work your way down to my breast, licking and kissing and I patiently anticipate you entering my chamber as my lips blossom with the juice of sweet nectar and my belly bursts free of desire my spine tingles with each thrust you take inside me when the pressure and heat builds in my vaginal walls I become like a volcano Ready to erupt at the height of my orgasm. Oh! No one, my dear, has ever come close to this love you inspire. You fill my soul with so much joy. For you, my dear, are my heart's desire. Oh!
Welcome back to Erotic Taboo Central Touch. I have my Queen Melanie and King Colin. Yeah. Hey. Melanie, would you like some closing statements and I go last, ladies first? Absolutely. All right, y'all. You know, um, I love, 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 love our show. I love our form, and I always uh, learn some stuff. And as I said um, a little bit earlier, you know, I don't want to ever talk about something that I haven't practiced or you're not not willing to practice, you know. But um, today I learned how to achieve um, the full body uh, orgasm, and Jackie gave us six steps. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. And um, I don't know if I'm going to let y'all know how it went, but... um, you know, Boo. I'm gonna try it. Boo. <laughs> how many how many O's in the proper boo? How many O's in the proper boo? Boo. Why, <laughs> child? How are you gonna do that? <laughs> Listen, I exactly. You can't you can't set us up with no teaser and then just leave it there. You gotta show the movie now or something. But um, I, I too I too am going to try. Try you know the, uh, the those initial six steps to see if you know I can you know attempt to tap into that. Um, like I said, you know that's a, a lot of uh, that's a commitment there, man. That's that's a commitment. But yeah. I have a spouse that I'm committed to, that I'm willing to commit to trying something new. So uh, we we're definitely going to try, and I will share my uh, experience. Maybe by the time <laughs> we um, you know by the time we meet again. You know, we might have moved on to another topic, so, but um, I'll still try to squeeze it in in the in the session where we have some free time. But um, again, I thank you all for visiting and joining us this evening for another episode of our Blog Talk Radio. I thank you, and um, I got thank some you. homework to do. Um, <laughs> you want to give our contact, Melanie? You want to give us a, uh, give out our contact info again? How we can be reached and how we can be gotten a whole Absolutely. Down. Absolutely. You all can follow us on Facebook and that is Erotic Table Sensual Touch Relationship Group. We are on YouTube and that is Erotic Table Sensual Touch. Um where else are we guys? We're we're everywhere. Um we're email. Oh, you our, can email us if you want. Oh yeah, you can email us. Yeah. And you can email us at the Productions of Majesty. Is that right, y'all? I'm sleepy. Yes, that's right. The production. That's of right. That's right. That's right. At gmail. That's right. At gmail. At gmail. Also, that's right. Also, we do Absolutely. have numbers. We have numbers, y'all. We have numbers. All we right, have Jackie, what's your phone number? Absolutely. If you want to reach us by text or phone, you can reach me at 410-635-1666. What's that number again, Jackie? What's that number again, Jackie? 410 410- that number is 410-635-1666. Okay. I, I don't have a number just yet. I'm not giving y'all my personal number, but I'm going to have to go get a number <laughs> where I can. Hey, I'm not giving y'all no for my personal number. He's calling me in the middle of the night talking about my tantra not working. It's broke. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I... But, but I will, I will give you a, a number next when the next time we speak, or I might just post it. I'll just post it, you know. So that means you all have to stay, cool. stay in touch with us on the FB, the Facebook. I'll post there where you all can shoot a text, whatever's convenient. If you don't want to be heard or physically seen, shoot us on the back or hit us on the DM, slide an ID DM, you know, and hit us there with your comment or question, you know. <laughs> uh, so I'll have a number. I'll have a number for you all. And uh, Melanie, do you have an uh, an additional number? For yeah, the, for the yeah, yeah. I have one for y'all. It's four ten nine two one seven six three four. One more again. That's four ten nine two one seven six three four. And do not call me 
after Uh-oh. ten. I'm telling y'all, <laughs> y'all gonna get cut because I'm finding people and I'm cutting people. <laughs> so she's gonna be practicing her cataclysmic <laughs> orgasm. Yeah. <laughs> Nice clean up, Jackie. Nice clean up. <laughs> <laughs> so again, we thank you all. We thank you all for tuning in again. We encourage you all and uh, want you to visit us on our other media sites. And um, mm-hmm. stay tuned because the next time we meet, we'll be moving on to a new topic. We are not telling you what the topic is, so therefore you must tune in again. We rock yep. taboo since you were tough touch on blog talk radio to see what's hot and what's considered taboo. We're gonna let's talk about it. Nice. Ladies. Good night folks and thank you for joining us. Again, I'm Jackie and we've enjoyed our listening audience being part of Erotic Taboo and Central Touch. Absolutely. Good night everyone. Good night. Good night. Hey, it's Flo, and this is my impression of a drill instructor directing a musical. 